Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here now in today's video guys I'm gonna be bringing you part two of my meta strong close scheme in Madden 21 This will help you win more games out of this formation today guys We're gonna be going over the play known as mesh This is gonna be the first of your four audibles We're gonna be going over as a reminder in the last video. We did go over Y trail today We will be going over mesh so guys before we get in the video if you want to follow me on Twitter The link is down below. I'll be posting when I upload new videos also if you want to check out my two most recent videos including part one of the strong close scheme that'll be in the top right of your screen right now guys let's go ahead let's get into it all right guys so here we go so this is going to be the play mesh right here now for your pre-play adjustments all you're going to do is you're just going to come out in the twin halfback package which could be one flick to the right with the right stick what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to put two running backs in the backfield basically you have one you have a fullback or a tight end in the fullback in the fullback position but now what you, this will allow you to do is it will allow you to have two running backs in there so that's going to be really key and it's going to really help you in terms of one of the routes which is a table route out of this play now what we're going to do guys is we don't have any personnel subs so guys but let's just get quickly into the setup all right guys so this is just going to be a big nickel over g cover two we're going to be coming out against and essentially what we're going to do the first adjustment we're going to make on this play here is we're going to go and put square on a slant which is triangle square and right in the right stick then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the triangle route, aka the running back, on an option route, which should be triangle, triangle, and L2. What this is going to do is it's basically an option route is either a hitch to the right or it's going to be an out route to the right. And then the final adjustment we're going to make, the final step we have in this setup, is we're going to go and we're going to take this square receiver and we are going to motion him out to the left, which is going to be clicking onto him and flicking the left stick to the left one. So basically, this is set up very, very simple right here and i mean not, nothing really too much to it now your reads your first read here is going to be this square route your next read is going to be r1 the table route then you're going to have x which is your corner route which it which is your tight end and then your last read is going to be the o route with all sean jeffrey so here we go guys we're just going to run this play and basically what you want to do here is for square you want a low ball slant now how you're going to do that is you're going to hold l2 as you're throwing it to square and basically what you're going to want to watch here is going to be this linebacker that i have marked with the id the mic basically if he goes way out to the left you're gonna you're gonna want to throw this ball and i'll show you exactly when to throw the ball so we're just going to run this again here very simple like a three-step setup and what we're going to do just motion all the way out and you're going to want to throw the ball basically right off the snap what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to make sure that the linebacker that's currently marked with the id of the mic here you're going to want to make sure that that guy does not end off end up picking off your pass if it's the user and it's going to get a really easy five six yards and what i like to do here is right when my receiver is lined up with the cornerback which i have marked right here basically right at the start of the play i'm gonna low ball this and the only re the only way that's gonna prevent you from doing this is if for example let's come out and cover three real quick you're gonna see in a cover three that a uh, defensive back is right here when there's a defensive back right there do not throw this ball because what's going to happen is it's going to get picked off so if your opponent comes out in a set where a defensive back is in this position what you're going to do is you're simply just going to go and look to this table route so i'm just going to show you against cover three real quick how it works so we're just going to motion out fulgum the square route here and we're just going to look really quick and you see that r1 is wide open right here we're going to be able to dump it off get a very easy five six yards and we're actually going to segue right into the cover three with that being said all right guys so this is against cover three here so i'm just going to set up the play as you can see it takes like two seconds to set up you're going to have a lot of good routes on the field a corner route a drag route a slant an option and the table route and we're going to see right here that right away this table route is going to get open we're going to throw this we got some good separation with the safety and we got a lot of yardage so I mean, that's pretty much it for cover three. There's not really too much to say about here. You're just going to be looking at that table route. Now, guys, we're going to move on to cover four palms. All right, guys, so we're against cover four palms here. So I'm just going to motion out Fulgham once again here. And you're going to see that in this formation, you see that there's no defensive back between this outside corner and this linebacker. So that's going to allow us to go and do the low ball slant. So when he lines up here, right when we snap the ball, just low ball it. Very easy, six, seven yards. So... I mean that's that's pretty much like being said here that's that's pretty much it so let's just move on now to man coverage all right guys so here's the play against man coverage so we're just going to set this up and basically guys what you're going to want to watch as well is if the if the safety is down here 
what you're going to want to watch is if he ends it, you're going to want to watch him because if the safety's down here and he drops out to where to, you know, where this outside corner is, what's going to happen is you're not going to want to throw this ball. You're going to want to look to that table route and also the corner route as well. But if he does end up playing man coverage or if he goes the, the complete other direction, you're going to want to throw the slant. So for example, as you can see, goes to the other direction and I'm just going to low ball possession catch. Now you could also go in that situation if your user, your opponent's user is not covering it. What you could do is you could just throw that ball all day and rack catch it and get some very solid yardage and basically make him pay for coming out with man coverage. But pretty much that's going to be it for man coverage. So let's move on to a cover four drop. All right, guys. So this is cover four drop here at a dollar three two six. So here we go. I see that the cornerback is right here, defensive back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to watch. He drops out. So I'm just going to throw this table route here to Boston Scott. He does break a tackle and pretty much almost gets a first down. I'm just going to run it one more time here. Basically, that table route is going to be money against the cover three or cover four because the defensive backs drop so far back that it's going to give you space in the flats. So we're just going to run this one more time and we're just going to throw this ball. And you're going to see that we're able to go and thread the needle and get a very easy like 10 yards so guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash a like or stretch past five likes let me know if you have any questions or feedback down in the comments i would really love to see them guys take care most importantly stay classy